so you're thinking about moving to Roswell, Georgia, and your budget is in the 700 thousands, but you have no idea what your money will buy. And that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. We're gonna take you around to a couple of different properties in the 700s, also give you some uh, insights into the life and the lifestyle so you can understand what your money will buy and what your life will look like. And we're gonna get after it, right? Now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Atlanta, or in this case, Roswell, then subscribe below and ring the bell for notification so you can be the first to know about the current market when we release new content. My name is Denny. The team and I get calls each and every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Atlanta. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week, next year, or anytime in between, call, text, email, schedule a Zoom. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta. As I mentioned, we're going to be showing you some properties in the 700s. Before we do that, uh, I'm in downtown Roswell. Just want to give you a quick pan around. And so what you'll find is this is historic Roswell. This is Canton Street. So you've got all these uh, shops and boutiques and restaurants, things of that nature, uh, even in the alleyway back there. And then down Canton Street, all of these single family homes have been converted into, again, more uh, commercial space for boutiques and businesses, shops, restaurants. My wife and I just ate at Fellows Cafe right around the corner. That's one of our favorite places for brunch. Right down there on the left is Crazy Love Coffee Shop. We absolutely love that place. You've got some of the best steak, one of the best steakhouses right here in all of Atlanta called Little Alley. And so this is like a happening spot. This street right here, they shut it down in the spring and the summer, the third Thursday of the month for live after five. And there's live music and uh, pop-up tents and all kinds of stuff going on here. So Roswell has a very vibrant kind of a, a lot of energy. Now, uh, it's not like living in the metro Atlanta. You know, you're not going to find clubs open till three in the morning. If that's your lifestyle, you need to go into the city. But if you're looking for a vibrant kind of active suburb, well, then this is it. So let's go check out some of those properties. Okay, here in the 700s, we have a beautiful property in a really cool neighborhood. Um, actually, I'm gonna talk about the neighborhood first because they've got this uh, clubhouse with uh, restrooms, like bathrooms right here, access this like outdoor clubhouse, seating area, television, fireplace, pool. I love that, but they've also got this outdoor like hilltop gathering area in an amphitheater and a hiking trail. And so it's a little unique spin on some uh, community amenities. All of the yards and the exterior are maintained by the community as well. Uh, and this looks like a Charleston style uh, or like a European village, the small, smaller lots, uh, but they've done a great job with each of them. And they've kind of got these community parking spots uh, to supplement uh, parking with some of the smaller lots in the neighborhood. Um, there is a main uh, kind of intersection there and you're maybe five minutes from 400. Right back here over my shoulder, here's the property. And it's gonna be a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom, but it's got uh, 3,336 square feet. It's actually a John, it's craftsman style home, but it's a John Whelan was the builder, re very reputable builder here in the Atlanta market. And then the basement was actually finished by the current owner. It was built in 2018. Uh, but in the basement, you'll find a bedroom and uh, two large rooms that you could use for like a media room or a game room or a or anything like that. And then there's actually two large unfinished areas. So there's tons of storage as well. It's got great curb appeal. And then uh, all of the other living spaces on the top floor, you're gonna have the master suite as well as the other bedrooms up there. And uh, in the kitchen, you'll find really nice appointed stainless steel, uh, chef's kitchen, stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, hardwood floors throughout, and all the things that you would expect in this price point. I think it's a lovely home. Uh, the area is great. This area, this part of Roswell is growing rapidly. There's lots of uh, uh, development going on around here. Over the last couple of years, it's been one of those like hot spots that's gonna continue to grow for years to come. 
schools are good parks and recreation uh, and the surrounding areas are, are great as well and so I think this is really good property uh, and a good representation of what the 700s look like here in Roswell So this is an interesting one for me. Um, it's uh, 3,453 square feet, listed at 710,000. So that puts it right at $206 a foot, I think. It was listed at 750,000. It's been on the market for a month. It's been lowered to 710, obviously, as, we, uh, as I said. But uh, it, looks, uh, it looks much smaller from the outside. This is the subject property right here behind me. So almost 3,500 square feet. Uh, it's actually two story, so there is a, a second story up there. And then, I don't know if you can see this, this is across the street. You see how that lot goes down? It's like, this is the street level and it goes down. Over here, this is like your backyard. Is, is, he, is actually up here. It's real, I'm telling you, it's really interesting back there. You'll I'll, Maybe we'll see you some pictures, but right behind your house, there's only like a few feet and then there's like this big wall with a fence at the top, but there's stairs. And when you get to the top, there's this huge flat grass backyard, which would be great, you know, if, we, if you have kids or to play in, there's a sitting area, uh, all that kind of stuff. But inside what you'll find is that it's got beautiful hardwood floors, but the countertops and the tile uh, and the backsplash, the, the kitchen, the bathrooms, like that kind of stuff is showing its age because it was built in 2005 and it's almost like, well, wow, 2005 sounds like new construction, but well, that was almost 20 years ago. And so uh, I think a fresh coat of paint would go a long way. And then maybe some uh, tile or countertop swaps, which are really, really easy. But uh, clearly at 710,000 or at 750, the market said no, it took a month. It's down to 710. We'll see what it ultimately goes for. These homes are usually not for sale it's not about the individual property it's more about just giving you some insights into the life and the lifestyle the area is great we're only a mile from downtown uh, like roswell historic roswell and canton street the community looks fabulous there's a private walking trail the hoa is only like 185 a year so it's really low because there's not like swim tennis and all that stuff the schools are great access to 400 is easy like all of that stuff is great uh, it's just clearly the market is not excited about the uniqueness of this property at that price Okay, so here we are to round out the 700s, and this is an absolutely beautiful community and neighborhood. First of all, it's a gated community, and the property right here is in close proximity. It's just a few from the gate, uh, but um, let, me, let me show you the houses around it because these are some beautiful custom homes. Lovely tree-lined street. Like I said, each and every home is custom. They all look different, different floor plans. And so we're talking about this property right here behind me. It was actually built in 2002, and it's gonna be five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,750 square feet, and it's listed at 795 thousand dollars but it's a beautiful property um, some of the homes in this neighborhood sell well into the um, mid to high 800s even low 900s so there's plenty of room if you want and you have the budget whether it's immediately or over time for you to add value I say that because being built in 2002 it's got the original flooring the original this got new new fresh paint in there but it's got the original flooring kitchens bathrooms and all of those things um, so you could put some money into the bathrooms into the kitchen add some value put your fingerprint on it have exactly what you want in a property and 
be able to build some equity, build some value in that too. Looks like one of the neighbors wants to talk to me, so I'm gonna let y'all run, but that rounds out the 700s here in Roswell. A few moments later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you, bud. So hey, don't you love it when you run into your friends when you're out in the wild shooting YouTube videos? So uh, that was a good buddy of mine in my small group and I did not realize that he lives in this neighborhood. So you never know who you're gonna see uh, when you're out shooting videos, but that right there is a fabulous house and I can, I can say with certainty now that if he lives here, you've got wonderful neighbors. Well, that wraps up our tour of the 700s hopefully you got a better idea of what your money would buy uh, what the market looks like here and some insights into the lifestyle uh, as always we appreciate feedback so let us know in the comments below which was your favorite on the tour and whether you're moving next week next year anytime in between call text email schedule a zoom we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta and until we see you in person hopefully we'll see you on the next episode